31 years in the business, high quality produce, you build up a clientele. You know, just as long as you keep your product, you know, as high quality as you can. That's half of it. You know, a good farmer can survive. And I survive. Poor farmer, it was definitely a challenge for him. More of a challenge it was for me. I mean, it's always a challenge, regardless of your year. Because you're dealing with Mother Nature. So, your crop's going to suffer, one way or the other. Either weeds, bugs, disease, or drought. And it's all global warming. It gives these bugs a chance to move further north and adapt in winter. They say the places that are dry are going to get drier, and the places that are wet are going to get wetter. And we seem to be running into that area where we're dry. This is the second driest season I've had as far as I... My pond is the lowest it's been, and I only had one other year that it was lower. So it's critical. So yeah, it's a younger person is going to be more challenged than I was. I also make uh, lawn furniture, but my first love is farming. Well, my brother and I, we, we like the church up here, so we decided to we want to move up to Maine because we need some friends. We grow pretty well everything. Uh, pretty well the full line of vegetables. Um, the biggest challenge is this probably just the marketing. Um, I don't feel like it's as it's more of this health, you know, health food safety um, is getting stricter. Regulations are getting harder. That's the biggest thing we struggle with. And I think we'll be faced with in the future. But as just the future, as in farming, as the environment as the climate change and stuff, I don't think that should be any problem. Everything we do with the horses, so, um, and I don't have exactly all the farm machinery I need, but I do um, borrow some machinery from the neighbors that have horses as well. But I have just about the full line of machinery, like plow this, the uh, cultivators, uh, sprayer, uh, just the basics that we need in general for farming. We work together, usually every Thursday we come together and help someone. It'll be the whole community, up to 50 people helping. And then I have to help on Thursdays wherever the work day's at. But last Thursday the work day was at our place, so everybody came to help me. The problem with farming is there's not enough young people that are getting into it. And uh, there's not going to be enough farms to supply local people with produce. And it's really getting to be critical. I mean, let's face it, a lot of, you look at the people in the farmer's market, look at their age bracket. Not a lot of young people. It's scary. If we live in a community where we all work together, it's, I don't know, a better opportunity than the farm. Your business is going to suffer. No toys about it. You know, it's... Bottom line.